This is a quick demo of SEMrush or SEMrush. It's a very awesome SEO tool and I primarily use it for keyword research. Now, you can use it for a lot of other things. There's a ton of features. It's a really a full suite of tools for SEO professionals. I personally am a, uh, <clears throat> I guess, I do SEO as part of my job, but really I'm an affiliate marketer and an internet marketer. By the way, I'm, I'm Doug Cunnington. I'm the founder of Niche Site Project, and I'm gonna go through a quick demo. So first we'll take a look at the SEMrush uh, landing page because I don't even know all the features, so we'll kind of scroll through and take a look, and then I'll show you specifically how I use the tool, and um, we'll sort of use uh, the wire cutter, a very large Amazon affiliate site, which is now owned by the New York Times, uh, like media company, uh, along with its partner site, although it was started by an individual. But the point is that uh, we'll take a look at the wire cutter as a demo site. Now, if you actually want to get the keywords, I actually will give you a thousand of the keywords that we get from SEMrush as a sample of the wire cutter. So all you have to do is go, go to my site, niche site project, and you can sign up for the email list. You'll get those keywords pressed like 14,000 others from different sites. So first of all, let's go to the sales page here and they call uh, SEMrush the all-in-one marketing toolkit for digital marketing professionals. They uh, give you a quick way to you know, enter in <clears throat> like a domain keyword or URL to get data. They have a you know, beautiful landing page that we're not critiquing it. They have like, nice social proof, lots of sites use them. And here's the deal. So what's inside? So from an SEO standpoint, they give you a technical audit, semantic core collection, uh, position tracking, ideas for getting more traffic, competitive intelligence, which is the primary thing that I'm looking at, and then uh, backlink audit and analytics. I will tell you straight up, the backlinks, I believe, are sort of inferior to uh, Ahrefs and inferior to Majestic. Thing is, the strength of SEMrush is, for me, the, the strength is around being able to see what keywords your site ranks for, and then even more, you can see what keywords your competitors rank for so that you can understand you know, what's working well for them and then you know, take those things to implement on your own site. So for me, that is the key thing, the way that they pull and extract data and then retabulate it for our consumption based on keywords. So um, that is the core thing. As we click over here, you can get information about paid traffic. I don't know really anything about paid traffic, PPC, pay-per-click. I don't uh, do that. Social media, I am uh, I'm a bad social media person. I'll, I'll just say it. So I do what I can uh, but a lot of times, you know, like Facebook ends up like a distraction. Twitter uh, never really connected with me. So I don't do much with social media. So I kind of ignore it. I just stick on the SEO side. Next, content and PR. I do like content a lot. Um, and I guess, you know, I, I am into PR just through the nature of being a marketer. But uh, again, I don't use much of this data, though. It seems to be interesting. So... SEO is the primary thing. For me, it's mainly about keywords. That's kind of my thing. As we scroll down, they keep it brief, which I appreciate. So maybe this video will be a little bit shorter and concise. So we'll just go straight to it. Um, and I'm going to pause for a second just to make sure we don't hit any delays. So we'll be right back in a second. Okay, just wanted to make sure I could type that in without it freaking out. So I just typed in the wire cutter, the domain, of course. Uh, the source will be, uh, you know, Google United States. But if you're in another country, you can pick whatever's relevant for you, whatever uh, Google database you're interested in. For us, the U.S., click start now. Um, I'm not logged in or anything. This is just the free information you get. And it's put together well, right? So it's a freemium tool you get some information <clears throat> without 
being a paying member so that you can see the power of it. And then if you sign up, of course, you get the full amount of the data. So I may do a more in-depth uh, just tutorial on using SEMrush, especially like when I'm logged in so you can get like the full breadth of what the heck's going on here. But as we take a quick look, this is just the straight up overview. It tells us that the wire cutter, the organic traffic is approximately 1.8 million visitors per month. They tell us that uh, there's like 800,000 keywords here. The traffic cost, if they were paying for it, would be like 2.2 million. They're not paying for that traffic, by the way, they're getting it organically through search. They don't run ads, right? So their paid search is none. They don't do that. They have 110,000 backlinks. Again, I wouldn't say that SEMrush is known for the strong backlink um, database that they have. Next, they have organic keywords uh, in this sort of ring donut pie graph situation here. So we see most of the organic keywords are you know US based, a little, little more than half I'd say. And then they show you the traffic over time. So the site was founded back in you know like late 2011 or so if I if I recall correctly. And then it's slowly gone up, a couple declines, but a lot of growth since uh, apparently the New York Times took over and they were able to build a lot of links to it. So here's the bread and butter for me. So it tells you the top organic keywords here. It tells you the main competitors. Fantastic. You get some other information about it, but the, another cool thing is like the organic p position distribution. So they tell you that um, there are 800,000 keywords in the top 100. But they also tell you the distribution of those. So 29,000 are in the top three and uh, 93,000 or almost 94,000 are in the positions of four through 10 and so on. So they, they really, they give you a pretty clear picture on like how well the site's doing. So the thing is, the thing we want to get into is a view full report for the keywords, the top organic keywords. So let's do it. So now we are at the um, keyword organic uh, search section. So you can see over here on the, on the left-hand navigation, there's like all this other stuff we can get into, but we're just focused on this for right now. And what it will tell us is the key, keywords that are ranking um, and bringing in the traffic and they, they actually sort it, uh, I phrased that in an odd way, but they sort it by the percentage of traffic that should be coming in via those keywords. So just like straight up hoverboard, they're ranked number 11, which in the SEO world, right? If you're ranked 11, you may as, be, you may as well be ranked like 35, right? It's a little exaggeration, of course, but if you're ranked 11th, it means you're on the second page of the SERPs, the search engine page results, and like <clears throat> results page rather, search engine results page. So you're you're ranked like on the next page. Most people are gonna click on the top two results. You're not gonna like click to the second page unless it happens to be like an obscure topic, but people can usually find what they need like in the first two results. So the thing is, it's sorted by that metric of traffic percentage. But the thing is, hoverboard is such a huge volume term, 1.83 million searches per month. So that doesn't really paint a great picture. Um, so I would almost like throw that out. <laughs> and, you know, one thing that could be even more interesting is to, you know, look at what's ranking number one. So it's ranking number one for wire cutter, standing desk. So this is a huge amount of traffic. They're ranking number one for standing desk, which is searched for 60,500 times. Crazy. So just looking at this data here, so they tell you the keyword, they tell you the position, they tell you the volume, they tell you the, um, uh, the keyword difficulty, so the KD. They say it's an estimate of how difficult it would be to rank. 
well in the organic search results for the particular word, the higher the percentage, the harder it is to ch achieve high rankings for a given keyword. So as you can see, these are hard things to rank for. They also tell you the CPC, which is pulled from Google, AdWords, they tell you the URL so you can actually like look at that specific page. So like if you were to click this, it would go to the page that they're actually talking about, about standing desks, for example. Now, um, they tell you a little bit more. They give you the trends. They can give you the SERP. If you want to click on it, it'll tell you all that too. But let's, um, <clears throat> oh, and because this is the free version, they only tell you the first 10 results here. And then you can actually get a seven day trial if you just sign up. I think you usually have to put in your your actual like billing information. So if you don't cancel within the seven days, then you will get charged. But if you wanted to try it out and get like full access, super cool to do that. Um, I am an affiliate, so I'm gonna put a link here. So if you sign up through my link, I get paid for it. I get a small commission, but you know, feel free to not use my link um, or just use the free version, right? Now, one thing, uh, let, let's try this. I'm just gonna try and filter in I like to use uh, like best in my keywords. So we'll just see if I put in best, if it filters and it still sends me. Nope, it doesn't give me any additional information. They, they want me to sign up. So if you actually try and use the tool, they'll say, hey, you gotta sign up. Um, it's saying it's uh, $100, $100 a month basically, but I think you usually can find a deal. I think um, you can normally get like a 30 day trial cases not, not even just a seven day but I think you can get a 30 day trial so let's go back there I should have checked that earlier I wasn't sure if it, if it was gonna give us some free info the other thing that we can try is um, this actually could be a little bit more helpful so 2.0 would we just take a look at the, the site here in general but the thing that we really want to check out is the specific page right so most of the time we're interested in ranking for a keyword uh, set or a niche so what you can do is see what this particular URL so we're in uh, the wire cutter slash reviews slash best standing desk and then we see the keywords that that URL is ranking for so that gives us even more insight. And th this is the magic, right? So you can see what page, or sorry, what keywords a page is ranking for with this kind of granularity. Now, the, the interesting thing is organic search positions. So in the top 100, there are 2,146 search terms ranking in the top 10 on this page. Interesting. Now, put it together, right? So like we have this page here. And I did another demo. Uh, you should be able to look it up on my channel with SEO Quake. So this best standing desk review, I'm, I'm not going to go into too much depth here, but you could use this tool SEO Quake and then it'll tell you that um, on this page about the best standing desk on the wire cutter is uh, almost 10,000 words and you could do like a full analysis. If you haven't seen this tool, look at my video. It's a free tool. You can just install it in Chrome. Uh, Safari, Firefox, um, I think it's on one other browser also. But the, the point is you could check out these pages, use these tools to do competition analysis. So you can have like great insight on your competition. So let's say you, you're ranking like number 20th for uh, like best standing desk. So you're within striking distance, but you're not quite there yet. So you can go check out the competition you can check out who's ranking in the top 10, find the other niche sites, see uh, like what keywords they're ranking for. So you can get some ideas for maybe some subheadings, additional content you could add. Then if you use SEO Quake, you can figure out how long the content needs to be. You can figure out how many times you should use the keyword. You can see how they're writing the meta description. All these little things add up so you can get this great insight on these pages. So um, if you have the free version, right, you can't get more than these 10 results. But if you sign up for the full version, then you can get you know, 2,000 
results for this one page and you could actually do like really in-depth analysis. Now, I kept mentioning that for me, the most interesting thing with SEMrush is the keywords. The, like all these keywords, if you simply research your competition and who's ranking well in the top 10, uh, you should have more keywords than you're going to be able to use. And you should be able to basically, um, you know, have enough keywords by using this SEMrush tool for about a month, like enough keywords to build a niche site that's bigger than you, you can imagine, right? I mean, when you're looking at sites like the Wire Cutter, uh, the Sweet Home, Outdoor Gear Lab, Baby Gear Lab, big sites like that, like the amount of data that you can get is just, it's amazing. And it, at that point, you know, you don't need to do more keyword research. You need to focus on like publishing more content, like building the, the content team. So it takes you out of the loop. So you can have a team of writers that are working on the content. You can have an editor and a content manager to help you publish that content so you don't have to say, edit every single line and edit uh, every single one of the posts you want to publish. And, you know, you don't want to go out there and find every image, you know, let's say you got to put three or four images in each one of the posts. All that takes time. It's really great if you could outsource that stuff. So I'm digressing and talking about systems and processes and stuff, but this is SEMrush and it's a great way to do keyword research. If you enjoyed the video, if you found it helpful, let me know in the comments. If you have questions, let me know in the comments as well. If you re really found it helpful and you're interested in learning how to build an Amazon affiliate niche site, be sure to check out my site. It's nichesiteproject.com. I'll put a link in the description for the video so you can download about 15,000 keywords for Amazon affiliate sites. Um, these are profitable sites and these are great keywords. In fact, there's like a thousand of them from the wire cutter. So definitely check it out and hopefully I'll see you around. Thanks.